Hello, everybody, and welcome here to Let's Talk in English on PTS and on the radio. My name is Gabe. And my name's Andrea. We're glad you joined us. Today, our lesson is called A Valentine's Day Gift. A Valentine's Day gift, and this is a Valentine's Day week. It's exciting, and it's full of love. So, let's get right into today's lesson. Let's look at these key words. The first one is favorite. Favorite. Gilbert likes many fruits. Bananas are his favorite. Super. Super. Karen is a super student. Her teachers like her. Heart. Heart. Dan is drawing hearts on a letter to his wife. Hug. Hug. Kate's mom gives her a hug every morning. Gift. Gift. Today is your birthday. Here is a gift for you. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sally. Let's do something fun. Well, something fun is saying our keywords together again. So come on, let's do it. Our first one is favorite. Favorite. Super. Super. Heart. Heart. Hug. Hug. Gift. Gift. Come on. Come on. Well, come on, everybody. It's time for us to learn what today's mission is. Eddie. Hello. Yeah. I have a super gift for you. A super gift for us? For us? A super gift. What is it, Eddie? It's today's mission. That's what we like to hear. Yes. Okay, here it is. What is Hugh selling today? What is Hugh selling today? Well, keep your ears open in today's lesson and you will find out what Hugh is selling today. Let's go to the lesson right now. Simon, Betty, you are two of my favorite people. Hugh, you say that to everyone. But you are. <laughs> How are you, Hugh? I'm super. Thank you. How about you? I'm doing well, thanks. Great. I have something perfect for you. Well, in this conversation, we see that Simon and Betty and Hugh are in the post office. What does Hugh say to Simon and Betty? Well, he says, you are two of my favorite people. Well, that is one of my favorite key words, the word favorite. Let's look at this together. Say it with me. Favorite. Favorite. If something is your favorite, that means you like it most or you like it the best. It is your favorite. Now you can like many things. For example, I like many different kinds of fruit like apples and oranges and peaches. But my favorite fruit, the one I like best, is a mango. And if you like ice cream, you might like vanilla or strawberry or chocolate. And my favorite is chocolate ice cream. So that is favorite. Okay, let's look at this next key word. The word is super. Super. If something is super, that means it is really good. It is better than others. And so Hugh says that he is super. That means he is feeling really good. So if someone asks you, how are you, and you are feeling really good, you can say just what Hugh said. You can say, I'm super. And maybe you've heard of supermarkets. A supermarket has more things 
in it than a normal market outside. That is a supermarket. Phew, you say that all the time. What are you selling today? I'm selling this. I love it. What do you think? It's a heart. It's a heart with arms. It's a heart hug. A, a heart, heart hug? hug? It's perfect for Valentine's Day. How many do you want? I see, it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Well, Hugh is always selling something interesting. And in our conversation, we find out what it is. It's also the answer to today's mission. The question is, what is Hugh selling today? What is Hugh selling today? He's selling a heart hug. Interesting. Gabe, would you like to buy a heart hug? Well, I have a heart hug right here. Mm, I don't know what I would do with a heart hug, except maybe hug it. Oh, that is special. Well, I know what we can do. We can learn our key words. The first one is heart. Heart. Now, a heart is a shape. When you see a heart, you think about love. That's right, so a heart is a shape, and a heart is also something that keeps us alive, and it's inside of our bodies. That is a heart. Now, since Valentine's Day is a day to celebrate love, people use hearts a lot to celebrate. You might have a card with a heart on it, or give someone a chocolate that is shaped like a heart. You also might want to give someone a hug on Valentine's Day. Let's learn that keyword, hug. Hug. A hug is what you give someone. You put both of your arms out and then put them around a person. That's right. And this word hug is both a noun and a verb. You can give someone a hug, that's the noun, or like Andrea said, you can hug someone. Well, thanks for the hug, Gabe. It's nice to hug someone to show you care about them. Sorry, Hugh. I don't want any. What? What about you, Simon? You must want one for Renee. I'm sorry, Hugh. It's not the perfect gift for her. Come on, you two. Let me give you a hug. No, no, that's okay. Maybe Max wants one. Yes, Max likes heart hugs. You're right. Goodbye. Well, maybe Max will like this heart hug because we find out here in this conversation that Simon does not want a heart hug, and Betty does not want a heart hug, and Simon says that a heart hug is not the perfect gift for his wife, Renee. Well, let's look at this key word, the word gift. Gift. A gift is something that you give to someone else. A gift. You can give someone a Valentine's Day gift or a birthday gift. Many different things can be a gift. That's right. If you want to show someone that you care about them and that you appreciate them, then give them a gift. That's always nice. Well, Simon and Betty don't want a heart hug, so Hugh says, come on, you two. Let's learn what that means. Yeah, come on, everybody. Let's learn this key word. The words are come on. Come on. Now, this is something that you say if you want someone else to do something, or if you want them to try something, you say, come on. So let's use it. Hey, Gabe, do you want to go hiking with me today? 
Well, Andrea, I'm kind of tired. I don't think I'll go for a hike today. Come on, Gabe. You'll have a great time. Come on, hiking is fun. I'll have a great time. Yes. And hiking is fun. Okay. Well, I'll go hiking with you. Conversation replay. Simon, Betty, you are two of my favorite people. Hugh, you say that to everyone. But you are. <laughs> How are you, Hugh? I'm super. Thank you. How about you? I'm doing well, thanks. Great. I have something perfect for you. Hugh, you say that all the time. What are you selling today? I'm selling this. I love it. What do you think? It's a heart. It's a heart with arms. It's a heart hug. A, a heart, heart hug? hug? It's perfect for Valentine's Day. How many do you want? Sorry, Hugh. I don't want any. What? What about you, Simon? You must want one for Renee. I'm sorry, Hugh. It's not the perfect gift for her. Come on, you two. Let me give you a hug. <laughs> no, no. That's okay. Maybe Max wants one. Yes. Max likes heart hugs. You're right. Goodbye. Calendar phrase. Hey everybody, it's time for today's calendar phrase and the phrase is it's the perfect gift. It's the perfect gift. Now, if you get a gift from somebody and you open it up and realize that it's just what you wanted, you can say this. It's the perfect gift. Or if you're shopping and looking for a gift for a friend and you find it, you can say it's the perfect gift. Well, Andrea, I know the perfect gift right now. What's that, Gabe? That's today's calendar phrase. Let's go and see the perfect gift. It's the perfect gift. It's the perfect gift. Hey, Jan. Hey, Marie. What's in the bag? Oh, just a small gift for you. Open it. Okay. Wow, Marie. It's the perfect gift. I'm glad you like it. I do. It's the perfect gift. I bought it just for you. Thank you. It's the perfect gift. It's the perfect gift. It's the perfect gift. Well, hello everybody. It's time for us to find out the question of the day. Eddie, what is the question for today? The question of the day is, what is a perfect gift for you? Why? What is a perfect gift for you? Why? Well, you know, I think that a heart hug is the perfect gift for me. I like hugs and I like hearts, so I would buy one of those heart hugs from Hugh. I like your answer. What is your answer, everybody? All right, we want to thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English. Where are we? Well, we're on PTS and the radio. And of course, learning English together can be fun. Woohoo! Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.